Active campaign spreadsheet. We're going to talk about dumping information from Active Campaign into a Google Sheet. Now, on the surface, that's not very exciting, but there is definitely some valuable applications. In this case, what we're going to do is take some UTM parameters that are collected for each contact, put it into a spreadsheet, and from there you have the capability of doing some data analysis. So what's involved is an Active Campaign account. Google Sheets, connecting the two using Zapier. So let's dive right in. Okay, to start with, I need to create some custom fields. All these UTM variables you see down at the bottom here are going to be collected and sent over to a Google Sheet once the field changes. So I've created an automation that fires whenever this UTM source changes, and we want somebody to go in there every time that happens. So that's set up, and then the next thing we do is we want to post information or we want to ping a webhook URL. Now, I haven't set up Zapier to do that, but this is what's going to get changed to in just a minute. And then looking inside the Google Sheet, I want to set up a spreadsheet that has the name of the fields I want to collect. I want the name, email, date that this occurred, and then these five variables. And then into Zapier, I'm going to need to create a zap first that catches a webhook and then creates a spreadsheet row. So let's go ahead and look, create one. So the first one is going to be the webhook, webhooks by Zapier. And we want to catch a hook. We're going to save and continue. There's nothing to do here. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that to the click clipboard. Go back into here, edit this URL and replace it with this. Now, what's the next step here? Okay, I did this. And I'm gonna go back in here. I may not need to do this, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna change a field. This is going to be test. That's it, I'm just gonna pass, I'm just gonna change that because that should fire the automation. I'll refresh the page and hopefully that automation just started and then completed very quickly, which it just did. So now, if we go back into Zapier, let's take a look and see what the data looks like. So there's the custom field UTM source and it has the test variable. And all the other ones, they don't have any data, so that didn't happen. So let's um, keep going with this. We're gonna continue. And then the next thing we wanna do is Google Sheet. We're going to want to create a spreadsheet row, save and continue. Um, yes, let's just double check that we're connected to that account. Great, save and continue. Now I need to find the spreadsheet. This one's called Active Campaign UTM. There it is right there at the top, and we want to give it the right page or sheet. And I didn't change it, it's still sheet one. And then here are the fields we're looking for. So let's populate that. So email is going to be contact email. Name is going to be first name, if it's present, and last name. Date, we definitely want to put a date in there. Now, um, Zapier has this little function that will place the current time date that's human readable. So watch what I do here. I'm going to paste in this information. I'm going to go here for UTM source. Now, notice I didn't capture any other data that this did not show up. So let me just look at the format there. So contact fields UTM source. What I should have done is sent over data for all those fields so I'd make it easy. But instead, let's do it the hard way. And we're actually going to type in, if I can do that. No, it doesn't look like I can right now. So I'm going to leave this for now. And I'm gonna come back shortly to see if I can change that. And there we go, let's create and continue. So let's go in here, and there it is. So let me see if I can go back in here, and I am going to go to a contact, and let's call this one 
medium. We're going to call this. And I'm going to change this. And hopefully I can go back here and I want to pull in that data. We're going to catch the hook. We're going to continue, continue. And I'm going to retest here after I update this. So let's change this to test one and go ahead and save it. So sometimes the first time around you don't get it quite right. Um, so I had to make an adjustment. So it looks like I've updated it. Now I'm going to go back here. I'm going to retest this. Yes, I have. I'm going to say, okay, I did that. And let's see if it finds that new data so I can configure it properly. If I go look at there, so I now have all the other fields. Perfect. So I can actually finish off what I hopefully could have done previously. Let me go to edit template. Now I should be able to find these other ones. So let's look for medium. Now I'm going to continue. I'll go ahead and check to see if it's there. I haven't seen anything yet. All right, let's finish it. It looks like I could have tested again. So let's call it uh, AC Google Sheet. And we're going to go ahead and turn that on. So let's go test a few times. So I don't think there's anything new in there yet, but let's make sure if we were to do this, let's change this to test two. Go ahead and save that. Momentarily, I should see an update here on the right hand side saying that the Google Sheet automation has been completed. And if I want to hurry it along, oops, there it is. I should be able to go in here and there's an update. Let me go in and do it one more time just for good fun. Let's find another contact. Save. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this. Source one. Now I should show up again having gone through this automation. There it is. If I go look here, that information's been added. So this is kind of a log of what's been going on. And you know what? It doesn't look like this is working, this date field. Let's just see if I can format that. There. So I just needed to format that a little bit. So I could spread this out, make it a little bit more readable. So this is one way to collect or kind of keep track of changes to uh, your contacts information. What we ended up doing was simply connecting ActiveCampaign to a Google Sheet using Zapier.